hello guys and welcome back to the channel now guys it doesn't get better within the nigerian space nothing gets better within the nigerian space it doesn't actually even stay the same within the nigerian space what happens within the nigerian space is that everything gets worse so with that guys i bring you this Buari's aide claims Showare faked his court arrest. So that's the headline. Buari's aide claims Showare faked his uh, court arrest. So now let's see exactly now what is being said this time around. It just it stretches credulity what goes on in that country. But uh, we are now knowing that to be incredulous is the normal state of being within the Nigerian space. So let's get into it. President Mohamed Buhari's personal assistant on social media, Loretta Onoche, has denied the invasion of a federal high court in Abuja by armed officials of the DSS. It had been reported that DSS operatives on Friday chased out lawyers from the courtroom and attacked journalists, after which they were arrested. Shoure. Following the invasion of the courtroom, the trial judge, Justice Ijoma Ojuku, adjourned matters till Friday 11th, 12th, and 13th for definite hearing. This is coming less than a day after Shoure was released by the DSS after an Abuja Federal High Court ordered for his release within 24 hours. Reacting, Onoche on a Twitter page stated that the drama at the court was staged by Shoure supporters to make the DSS look bad. According to her, the DSS didn't enter the courtroom to arrest him, rather his supporters dragged him in with the DSS officials. She wrote, who drama help? Every lie will expire. Court drama explained. So it was a staged managed drama in the court yesterday. So Wore pinned down his supporters in a courtroom in order to give the DSS a bad name. There was no gun, no button, no pinning down, just plain drama, played out and staged by his boys and girls. Kudos, but every lie has an expiration date. Many witnesses have said the DSS was outside the courtroom and not inside the courtroom. Here is one more eyewitness account as reported by Adeniyi Adegbemire S.A.N. A friend of mine, Wale Fakounda, who was in court today when Shoure's rearrest was purportedly effected inside the courtroom, has this to say about the incident. Okay, so I was in court today and here is what happened. The court had adjourned his matter till the 11th of February next year. The court called the next matter and proceedings had commenced in respect of the next matter. So we stepped out of the courtroom and suddenly we heard noises coming from the corridors. Leave me alone. They want to kill me. They want to kill Shoure and all that. Suddenly, Shoure's people started dragging him with the DSS and they, Shoure's team, dragged him into the courtroom. The judge seeing this rose and went into her chambers. The DSS didn't enter the courtroom to arrest him. Rather, his supporters dragged him in with the DSS officials. Nobody chased the judge out. She rose and went to her chambers on scene squabbles. The DSS official left the courtroom and waited for him outside the court. Thank you all. Behold my eyewitness account. Blackmailing government enforcement agencies was how our nation went into decay. It won't work this time. No one is above the law. It appears everyone in that drama was part of the drama club. They harassed a court officer who wanted them out as they were disrupting another court case. A lawyer who looked bemused with the whole drama was lost for words. Drama has not helped Dino Melaye. It has not helped Olise Mate. Drama has not helped Ojikalu. Drama will not help Chowore because once you dramatize a lie to members of the public to attract sympathy, you lose all of that sympathy when they find out you were out to mislead them. I am also of the opinion that the police looked into these videos I have watched for and charged those who deliberately misled the general public on this issue. So now here is now what they are now saying that what we now saw in all of those videos that we saw copiously with this guy being held to the ground with the guy 
in, in a vice grip, hands locked, feet locked, everything locked, almost in a chokehold, a complete pandemonium in a courtroom. But alas, all of this did not happen. And the people who put out this video, apparently, they are now going to come under the hate speech law that they are now creating. This is now the narrative that is coming as ever from this Onoche woman. Conversations in the comment section. It doesn't get better in the Nigerian space. It doesn't stay the same. It always and always gets worse. So now come tell me what you are making of this now ludicrous comments that we're hearing. But before you come share thoughts, click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray. Bell button notifies you every time I drop a new video. Then come tell me what you are making of this now narrative that is coming out of Asso Rock regarding what we all saw in the comment section. So I'll leave you here. Carry on with you in the comment section. But here I say peace.